Hello, this is Jesse with Concentris. Welcome to another short and sweet video. We have a video out there on how to publish the knowledge base onto the center tab of your NetSuite environment. And I want to use this video to show you how that you would then publish topics and uh, solutions within uh, this knowledge base. Now, usually you have your topics and your knowledge base, uh, sorry, your topics and your solutions created before you actually publish a knowledge base. Uh, but in this case, we're uh, showcasing them separately. So uh, first things first, I covered in the other video, you need to make sure that under enable features, uh, your administrator has enabled under the CRM side of things, the knowledge base. Uh, and once that's enabled, um, there's a few other things you need to have enabled to uh, publish the knowledge base like intranet uh, and obviously cases. Uh, but for the purposes of this uh, demo, we're just gonna show the setup enable features. And then you go to list support and you'll notice that you have topic solutions and knowledge base. Now, um, all four of these work in tandem, but you don't need any topic solutions or knowledge base for cases. Uh, you do, you in the order that these goes is you create topics first then you create solutions and then you decide which ones to publish on your knowledge base. So that's the order that we've gone. Now in this step one environment, I've already created some topics. And what I wanna showcase first is the structure behind it. Keep in mind, you'll really wanna think this through for your organization, how you want to design or architect your topics. There are a number of ways to do this. In this case, this demo environment has uh, FAQs, things that would go on a website and then some other information necessary for downloads. Now, I have seen anything from uh, categorized topics in terms of uh, product, um, different types of products, product types, uh, systems, uh, different areas of the system that you may provide service for. It really depends on the kind of cases that you are receiving and what you're providing service for. The other way that I've seen this is organized by customer. Now, I typically do not recommend to organize by customer unless every single one of your customers is absolutely unique and you wanna make sure that you have something uh, documented for that customer. In this case, what I want you to see is that you can create a topic and then further create subtopics and further subtopics here, right? So I'm going to create a new topic. When you create the new topic, the most important thing is obviously the title. I'm gonna create, let's just say accounting, right? And what I do highly recommend that you do is you have a nice brief description and then a little bit more detailed description here, right? So this could be accounting related knowledge base. And then obviously you would go a lot more detailed over here. And this is basically all you have to do here. There is not a whole lot of science to this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this and we can see how this will show up here. And now it's uh, its own topic. Notice the alignment here, it's on the left-hand side because it is a master topic in this case. Now, if I take this same topic and now I make it a subtopic of, let's say downloads and I save. Now, obviously you'll see it aligned here. If I take the same topic, and I make it a subtopic of point of sale, then again, once more, you'll see it lined here, right? So that is pretty straightforward, uh, but very important that you think through how you wanna set this up. So let's say we have this and we have month and close. We're gonna make it a subtopic of account. And that's about as far as we'll take that right now, okay? Uh, notice I didn't put any description. So of course this is blank. I recommend you put a description. So these are topics. These are things that will come up that you want to address. The next part that we want to show is the solutions. Now solutions are the, the very specific steps that you want somebody to take to solve a problem. Now, keep in mind that when you create a solution, there's a few things that you'll, you'll notice. First, you'll notice that a number is generated against it. Now that you'll be able to see under auto-generated numbers. If you go under CRM and solutions, you can set a prefix and the 
uh, numbering sequence. So this is very much like every other kind of auto generated number. You can call this KB, you can call this whatever you want. Okay, just wanted to showcase that. But you would go ahead and create a solution. Now the solutions are very important. Um, you'll notice here, so how to close. What you'll notice here is a few very important fields. So obviously the code will be auto-generated. You can override that if you wanted to, we won't do that. You can assign this to somebody. And by assigning this to somebody, what you're doing is saying, this person is who I'm considering the owner. And this is extremely useful when you may have somebody creating the solution, but you want somebody else to approve it. You'll notice this status is unapproved and there's only just two, right? Now, of course, if you're the one creating and approving it, and there's no need to do any kind of check, then automatically change this to approved. Otherwise, you can leave it as unapproved, assign to Jesse, and then the person or whoever it is that you're assigned it to will go in and make sure it's approved. Now, approved is important because that will uh, tell us that it is an approved solution. Further, it would also tell us uh, that it's okay to publish. Uh, now, this display online is uh, you can use, as noted in my other video, you can publish uh, the knowledge base onto your website if you're running it from NetSuite. So you would go ahead and check that. Now you notice we have an abstract and a description. I highly recommend that you put a good abstract and a good description. Uh, the description is actually uh, the solution, right? So this is where you would put details on how to solve it. Uh, this abstract would be how to close month and step by step, right? And then here, you would then go and list out step one, step two. You'll actually notice that this is a rich text format. So you have you know, step one, step two. You could then further indent, change the bullets. You can change the, the size, the font, the color of the text. Um, you can even do HTML within this field if you want to, uh, for those of you that are savvy. Um, you can set a review status and a review date as well. Um, now, this is important because um, you want to put as much information here as would be necessary, or also keep in mind who your audience is. Remember, you can send out these knowledge-based solutions automatically. So if you wanted to, you want to make sure that this is drafted in a way that you would be okay with your customer seeing. Now, the next most important step here is assign this to a topic. Now, you can assign it to one or multiple topics here. So I can in theory put this under any other topic I wanted to, right? Again, the design of your knowledge base is very important because you wanna to try to avoid putting this over and over. If you're finding yourself repeating, putting it over and over in different subtopics or topics, uh, you may wanna look at your design. Um, we won't have any um, related records that we put here, but you could in theory then associate this to other solutions, right? So then you can create that, that association. Right, so I'll go ahead and save that. And then we have, you see it's auto-generated, created number nine, right? And the other thing that you will also see here is once you go into this, on your cases, you're able to assign solutions to your cases. Um, so if you ever assign a solution to a specific case, then you would see that here. Now let's go back. And what I want you to be able to see here is if we did end up publishing this, which is part of the other video, but I'm gonna quickly just publish this. You'll see here, month end close shows up. How to close month then, this is your abstract here. And then here is what you would publish. So be very uh, cognitive of how you end up uh, displaying the information here. Um, the more detail you can have with images, step-by-step, step, that's best. Um, I have seen uh, people also embed links to outside videos, YouTube pages, things on how to fix things. Uh, keep in mind that there is a search bar here on the knowledge base. So. No, I could type in month end and in theory, it'll give me the knowledge base article associated to month end. Hope this video was helpful to you and keep track of our future videos on our YouTube page. Thank you very much.